Mexico City is an unbelievably large and interesting city with so many different things to do and see and in this video I show you where to go in Mexico City. This is the Zocalo, a massive public square, basically the, the center of Mexico City. It's a serious hill to walk up to get to this castle. It's, it's situated on the top of a really big uh, hill. Chapultepec Park is a massive 1700 acre park in Mexico City and it is considered Mexico City's lungs. It's also one of my favorite places to visit in Mexico City and so that is where I'm going to start this video. Put chapter markers for every place I visit in the video so you can skip ahead or go back to something if you want to watch it again. There's so much in this park. The Anthropology Museum, actually there's a number of museums. Museo de Arte Moderno, Museo Nacional de Historia. There's lakes, there's statues, there's a zoo. It's really quite an amazing place. There's also like full on forest here. This is kind of the, the busier um, part and it's divided into to four sections. This is section one so where a lot of the attractions are and actually you can see uh, Chapultepec castle with the Mexican flag in the background this park is so big and has so many things to do you could easily spend days inside this park and, and probably discover new things Such a majestic looking uh, statue and uh, water fountains there. Such a beautiful day here today too. Just perfect. It's like around uh, 20 degrees and, and sunny. Great place to put a castle. <laughs> It'd be pretty tough to uh, to get up there. It's a steep hill. Chapultepec <laughs> Castle, which you can actually go inside for 95 pesos. It is apparently one of only two castles in North America that has been uh, inhabited by mar monarchy at some point. 
This is the entrance to Chapultepec Castle and it was 95 pesos to get in. It's a serious hill to walk up to get to this castle. It's, it's situated on the top of a really big uh, hill. Wow, that is so beautiful. Ritz Carlton has a good uh, view of uh, this. There's a lot of people here. Super beautiful building. Another nice day here. Such a magical place here. Highly, highly recommended when you're in Mexico City. See just how much forest and trees are in Chapultepec Park. It's amazing, it's right in such a big city. This is another one of those places that you kind of have to come to to really feel how amazing it is. So the zoo is actually free to get in to the main part of it for most of it and then there's certain attractions like the butterfly conservatory where you purchase separate tickets. The dinosaur exhibit is a new exhibit and it's one of the ones that you pay extra for. This is a list of the four attractions that are extra. They're 99 pesos each. So the butterflies, uh, the sharks, the dinosaurs, and the snakes. Is 
Botanical Gardens, which is part of Chapultepec Park. One of the many, many things in Chapultepec Park. Botanical Gardens are really beautiful, especially if you love cactuses, which I do. Beautiful, amazing, uh, well done fountains on the uh, west side of Chapultepec Park. Near the exit to the uh, National Auditorium. Wow, what a, what a well done uh, setup. There really is just so much to see in Chapultepec Park. It's, you could probably come here for a week and not see everything. Gotta be one of the best parks in the world as far as size and a variety of different things to do and see. This is the entrance to the National Anthropology Museum. Unbelievable museum. If you're into ancient civilizations, history, if you like museums, if you want to learn about Mayan culture, this museum is unbelievable. You could definitely spend all day here if you really wanted to, to read about everything. del Servicio a la Patria.
the statues in here are made from old guns. Wow, that is an absolutely massive flag. That's got to be the biggest flag I've ever seen. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is the Auditorio Nacional, a national auditorium. It's a beautiful, huge uh, building, hosts concerts and events. Just gorgeous, even from the outside, just to look at it, it's so nice. Mary Poppins. You too. This is the Palanco neighborhood, which is one of, if not the wealthiest neighborhoods in all of Mexico City. Just outside of uh, Constituyente's subway station, there's a new uh, cable bus, and that station's called Los Pinos. I'm gonna try and uh, give it a try. Angel de Independencia, the Angel of Independence, and probably one of the most recognizable landmarks in Mexico City. It's on uh, Paseo de Reforma. This is pa Paseo de la Reforma. Beautiful pedestrian and car boulevard. Re really busy. Many lanes of, uh, of traffic beautiful trees and, uh, and a great uh, pedestrian walkway. Every Sunday the car traffic is stopped 
And so cycling is everywhere. It's a, it's a great activity to partake in. The entrance to Chapultepec Park that I showed at the start of the video is actually at one end of the Paseo de Reforma. Probably the main entrance to Chapultepec Park, although there aren't many of them because the park is just so massive. St. Regis is a super expensive luxury five-star hotel. On Paseo de Reforma, there's tons of these red buses. They look they look like a tourist bus, like a hop on hop off they have a tourist bus and some of them actually are but most of them are the metro bus so like a pub public transportation it's some of them that look almost exactly the same are uh, like a double decker tourist bus called touri bus There's a huge monument just outside of Chapultepec Park called Estela de Lu, which commemorates the bicentenary of Mexico's independence from Spain. This is La Condesa, one of the really nice neighborhoods in Mexico City. And it's great for walking around, it has tons of restaurants, and greenery, and really interesting architecture. There are also two really nice parks in La Condesa, which I will show in a moment. Parque España in the La Condesa neighborhood. Kind of a small park, but well done. I think uh, it's mostly popular for the, the dog park. It's a big uh, dog park. This is Parque Mexico, another park in the La Condesa area. Actually a much bigger park than Parque España. is really nice and kind of has something for, for everybody. There's greenery, there's places to sit, 
There's fountains, ponds, skateboarding, kids riding their bikes. This is Roma Norte, another one of Mexico City's beautiful neighborhoods with lots of old interesting architecture and greenery and paths and it's great for walking around and lots of restaurants and, and cafes. This is Plaza Rio de Janeiro, a park in Roma Norte with a huge fountain in the middle as its centerpiece. This is Plaza Luis Cabrera, another park in Roma Norte. Pretty impressive. It's a revolution monument, Monumento a la Revolución. And like the angel on the Paseo de Reforma, it has uh, like barricades set up around it due to protests. That's what uh, someone told me that I was speaking to. You can actually go up to the top for 150 pesos. This is Alameda Central, the oldest public park in Mexico City.
on one side of the Alameda Central Park is actually the world famous Palacio de Bellas Artes which not only is a stunning building it's it's also an art museum but just outside is uh, just really beautiful on its own to look at like so many of the, the buildings in uh, the Centro historical part of Mexico City the Torre Latino Americana which was actually built in 1956 quite uh, quite old and it was Mexico's tallest building for a long time till I believe the 80s and you can you can go up uh, there's an observation uh, tower you can go up it's, it's 44 floors the building this is actually from I'm standing in the the Bay of Artes, so it's, it's right right beside it. Avenido Madero pedestrian street is unbelievably busy and very very long. I'll try and put on the screen the uh, the length of it, but it's just uh, super busy with with people. This part of the Centro Historico, there's just things everywhere and no matter what direction you walk there's just <laughs> attractions and museums and just oh, it's just uh, so much going on in this area this is the metropolitan cathedral of Mexico City which is actually North America's oldest and largest Catholic cathedral <laughs> This is the cathedral, the Metropolitan Cathedral of Mexico City, which is the oldest and largest Catholic cathedral in North America. And no video and no flash inside. This is a Zocalo, a massive public square, basically the, the center of Mexico City. It's tough to, to realize just how big it is. And it's normally uh, empty, or I mean, they, they have all sorts of events here, but right now there's a uh, Feria Internacional del Libro Zocalo. So it's actually um, 
full of, of tents and uh, set up uh, things set up here, washrooms and such, which are normally not here. This, in my opinion, is one of the most interesting places anywhere. It's called Templo Mayor, and it's basically an archaeological, well not basically, it is an archaeological site itself. And it's now, it's also a museum, um, highlighting the Aztec civilization and all sorts of architects. Uh, that have been discovered, but it is such an unbelievably interesting place just from the outside here uh, It's just I don't know. I, I love this place Templo Templo Mayor basically right beside the, the Zocalo the center of Mexico City is There's not too many more interesting places in, in the world than than this the entrance uh, fee for the museum was 95 pesos. I've been here before the first time I came to Mexico City and it's one of my favorite things to do here so I'm gonna go through the museum again. Now the story of this site is quite fascinating. Before Mexico City was called Mexico City it was called Tenochtitlan and in the 1300s this was the main temple of the Mexican people. The Spanish actually completely destroyed it in the 1500s to build the Mexico City Cathedral. In 1978, workers from the city's electrical workers were digging and found a pre-Hispanic artifact. And so then the archeological dig began of this site, which is just, uh, mind-boggling and it's it's literally right in the center of Mexico City as kind of as central as you can get in one of the world's largest cities This is a Museo de Arte Popular, an art museum in basically in, in Centro in Mexico City. So this museum, like a lot of museums in, in Mexico or Mexico City, was actually free on Sundays when today's a Sunday. It's normally 60 pesos to get in. Definitely some interesting pieces here that make you kind of think. Really cool pieces here. I'm really enjoying this museum. Unlike a lot of museums where you have to read and learn too much, <laughs> this one is just uh, very visual.
This VW bug is uh, is done up in beads. All that is bead work. This museum is basically a one mural museum, but wow, is it ever stunning. A huge mu mural by Diego Rivera. It was apparently rescued from a, a hotel in the 1980s when there's a, a massive earthquake. So they, uh, they got it from the, uh, the hotel, which was damaged and brought it and created this museum.